The Scott Genius started life in 2003 when legendary cross-country racer Thomas Frischnecht rode one to victory at the Marathon Cross Country World Champs. That really made a statement back in those days when full suspension bikes were thought of as too inefficient to win those sorts of races. And that really set the scene for this bike. It's always been versatile. This is the brand new Scott Genius. This is the fully redesigned Genius. You see some of those features it has in common with the spark that was also redesigned last year. Most obviously, they actually lay out the frame. The old Genius had the shock mounted to the top tube. Now you see the link is flipped the other way and the shock comes down to the bottom. This is a 150 mm travel trail bike, so it puts it right in the middle of that all mountain category. But what about wheel size, I hear you ask? Well, the Genius is designed to use both 27.5 and 29. It's got 27.5 in it at the moment. All you need to do is flip the link that's on the shock when it comes to swapping the wheels. No need to change the fork. Uh, and what that does, it keeps the bottom bracket a very similar height, which is crucial for making sure that that bike ride characteristics are almost the same between 27.5 and 29. In 27.5 inch wheels, you have the tire choice of 2.5 up to 2.8, and then in 29 it's 2.4 to 2.6. So it definitely gives you a lot of choice to try and set that bike up for you and the trails you ride. We're here in the Aosta Valley in Italy, really steep, aggressive trails. I fancy the 27.5, so I'm gonna stick these back in and take it for a spin. So how well does a 150 mil travel bike actually climb? Well, luckily that's where Scott helped you out here with this twin lot lever. With one push, it goes from 150 mil to 110. Another push, it goes to full lockout. The best thing about that 110 mil mode is it keeps the bottom bracket up. Yes, you've got less travel. It also stiffens up the spring rate. So the BB's higher, clear the pedals a bit easier. It also keeps in that better, more poised climbing position. That twin lock lever takes advantage of this Fox nude shock that is exclusive to Scott bikes. So when you get to the top of the hill, click it fully open, 150 mil travel, drop your post, and away you go. Okay, so what else is new about the Genius? Well, the geometry's been changed. It's longer, it's slacker, it's got a steeper seat angle, it's also got shorter chain stays. So the head angle's coming in at 65 degrees. Chain stays are now 436 millimeters. The Genius is boost, as you'd imagine now. So it's 148 spacing on the rear, 110 up front. And it's also the lightest 150 mil travel trail bike on the market. So how have Scott done that? Well, there's an awful lot of work that's gone into this carbon fibre layup using computer software, but also things they learned from that redesign of the Spark last year. So obviously the shock now mounts down here into that big bulky area anyway, down by the bottom bracket. So it's nice and strong. They can then save some weight where the shock used to mount on that top tube. They now don't need as much carbon fibre up there. So it's offering compliance where needed and also stiffness where it's needed. There you go, there's the first look of the brand new redesigned Scott Genius. You may have noticed some other really cool features about this. Check out that Synchro's Hickson IC bar and stem. So that's integrated cockpit, it's one piece carbon fiber bar and stem, something I've not seen before on a mountain bike. It's equivalent of a 40 mil stem, looks very nice. And that's 290 grams, so super light. A couple of other nice touches like this sort of built-in bumper down there to stop those rocks flicking up and damaging your frame. Also gives you space inside that frame to put any DI2 componentry, like your battery or any boxes like that. Another nice touch, this Synchro's front fender that mounts on your Fox 34 or 36. If you want to see more videos, click on the GMB logo to subscribe. 
and click up there for a how-to with the Scott Pro Andrew Needling, how to pick race lines. And down there for more Scott bikes, that's hardtail versus full suspension cross country. Give thumbs up if you like the look of the brand new Scott Genius.